Okay, so we're starting our human manure compost bin system today, and what we've done here is create a center stand for the straw bales that we'll use in layering with the compost. And one reason we'd like to have two is it'll help give longevity to this part of the stand, so even as that blue skid on the bottom starts to wear away and melt into the earth, this one will hopefully still stay nice and dry, even if we get a little bit of water in here. Okay, so now we've got the U-bin in place for where we're going to put our compost. Annie's going to take some screws to screw this pallet into these guys, and then we'll screw this pallet into this one, and this pallet into that one, and then we can take these T-posts and brace the sides to make sure that we stay nice and stable. So, we've got some really good torque screws. Um, in the end, then we should be able to put a skid across the front to hold everything in place. Yeah, those are long ones. So. Alright, so we got the three guys up and screwed together, and then this pallet isn't screwed in yet, because we want to bring the straw down and start filling a little bit, and then put this on. But the way we're going to have it, it will kind of interlace with this pallet. We'll screw this one onto the front. It's low enough that we can dump buckets over the front and add straw without too much issue. And then once we get to this level, we can put a board in place up here to give a little bit more depth to the pile. Um, we're not sure how fast this thing will fill up, so it's going to be a learning process. But uh, it's really sturdy. Uh, so we went back to the Harn and got some supplies so we can start filling up our compost pile. The straw we'll use to line the bottom. We've got some ash from the fire. We'll throw some of that in there as well. And then we've got all our buckets of stuff. And most important, the sprayer to clean them out. All right, it's getting late in the day, but we have got the straw brought from up at the Harn. We're getting ready to put that long piece on as a roof. We need to figure out exactly how we're going to brace it. And then we'll finish up this other end of the U, maybe, and maybe even get some of our buckets dumped. We're going to make sure we put some steel on top of this roof so we can do water catchment for rinsing out our buckets. We did it! And we didn't kill each other. We didn't really even come too close pretty good for a major project like this. So we've got a nice sturdy roof. Um, I could probably hang off of this sucker. Uh, we've got our straw bale storage. It looks like we're going to be able to really fit four bales in here real nice. We'll break open this first bale, which is a little moldy already. Um, they've been sitting all winter. And we'll start filling this area in right here and dumping buckets. Once we've got a little bit of base, then we'll pull this side up, get it put into place, screwed in, and then we'll continue to fill, and we will empty our buckets. I think we have nine. Two or three were there before I moved up from the summer, and we didn't get this built last fall, so we've got uh, quite a lot to get in the bin, so. but it's looking good. So Danny's putting the last of the tools away, and we've got everything in the bin. And it looks really full right now. Oh my gosh, it's already half full. But this will drop down and melt hopefully quite a bit. So, But we had a bunch of buckets, and now they're all in here. Uh, this straw is really kind of gross, so it's a good thing we're using it out here, but um, 
We've got plenty now. It took less than half a bale, or maybe about half a bale, I guess, to do all of that. So that's pretty good. So, anyways, feeling good about getting this done. Pretty nice. So adding the humanure buckets to the bin was not nearly uh, as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not the funnest job on the homestead, but it was really easy. Um, some of the buckets were old enough that they had kind of started to decompose in the buckets. Uh, and we used plenty of sawdust in our buckets, and so they dumped out very easily. The buckets were super simple to use the spray wash to clean, and uh, we left the buckets out there to dry for a couple of days, and then we'll have a nice stash of buckets for uh, reusing when people come to visit. I really think this project turned out amazingly. Uh, we kind of designed it as we went as far as the roof structure went and Danny and I worked together really well to I think get a super sturdy building with great protection for our straw bales uh, the roof overhangs are into the um, compost bin areas so any water that comes off the sides of the roof will go into those areas and then on the west side we have that overhang which will help prevent some rain infiltration from blowing winds from the west uh, having the roof go down lean down to the north to the back allows for protection from that uh, angle and having the bins kind of facing to the south will give us as much warmth as hopefully we can get and then we will put rain barrels along the back uh, drip edge of the roof to catch the water that we'll need uh, to use for our sprayer when we go down to empty bins. So all in all, a fantastic project done in a day and feeling like we made a lot of progress on the homestead today.